Hey there, this is John Barton from JB Cases. We're going to do a weekly showcase for the week of the 9th of November, 2021. So 11-9-2021. Let's get started right away. Okay, right here I have a Dynamite Rugged Style 3x6. That means it's got a longer pocket here and a little bit taller pocket and an 8-inch pocket on top. So two pockets, but bigger and longer. This one's got black with yellow stitching, yellow piping, custom yellow zipper pulls, and 3x6 interior in tournament blue. There you go. All right, moving on here. I've got another one. This is uh, also a dynamite rugged style, but this one has an even longer pocket here. This has got a 20-inch pocket. And uh, we got JB cases on the front. Thank you very much for whoever did that for the customer. Um, we don't usually put our logo on the front, you know, but if someone asks us to do that, um, we're very happy to do that. So thank you for allowing us to do that. Um, normally our logo is going to be here on the back telling you when the case was made as well as in the lid most of the time. Most of the time this is going to be in the lid like this where it says JB cases for Alan Roy Robertson Jr. This is a 3x6 by the way. As I said it is black, white stitching, royal blue, white zipper pulls, and of course backpack straps. So pretty cool. All right moving on here I've got a really cute one here. This is uh, black and white and the top pocket has a uh, little eye design on there that looks pretty cool. Isn't that neat? That's very creative. Uh, this one's a uh, 2x5 slash 3x4. So two butts and five shafts or three butts and four shafts. And let's see what color interior we have on this one. We have a black interior. There you go. Remember that ultra pad too. So just because it looks like our interior, just because you can look down in there, you can see a little padding. That doesn't mean that it's really a knockoff of our interior or close to our interior because the truth is is that most of the people who do this they show you a little bit of foam rubber there and then the rest of it all the way down is going to be real thin and uh, and not protective so alright this one here is a 3x6 uh, Asian Zing style here you go so Asian Zing is uh, identified by the silk brocade that's on here. That's three butt six shafts. Hello, hello. What is that? My what is home? My boss is home. She's hurting both arms. Oh no. How are both of your arms hurting? Oh, because you got the flu shot in the other arm, right? <laughs> wow, you are a trooper. Come here. Let me see something. Come here. You gotta show people. So, we wanna do this real quick. I wanna show you. This little girl right here is braver than millions of Americans. I'm braver than Daisy. That's right. Braver than, than her older cousin, by the way. So, what's this one? Vaccine. For what? COVID. COVID vaccine, really? Wow. And what's this side? Flu shot. The flu shot. You got all that put into your body at one time and you're not afraid? Wow. You are amazing. Why are you not afraid of it? Because it doesn't feel like anything. Doesn't feel like anything? Yeah? Do you think it's going to turn you into something? No. Do you think they put tracking chips in your arm? No. How would they do in that your with blood? a small syringe? How would they do that with a small syringe? Really? Yeah. Oh. So it didn't seem like it didn't seem like there was any like little nano robots in going into your bloodstream, right? No. Anyone you think they can it? track you by 5G towers? No, this is supposed to help people. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Why do you think it helps people? Because it's a vaccine. Oh. Do you just <laughs> automatically trust it because it's a vaccine? Mm hmm And you guys got it. Did anything happen to you? Well, mommy, <laughs> mommy thinks I might have turned into a little bit more of an asshole. <laughs> Are you on live? No, I'm on recording. Oh. All right. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Do I have to do my 30 minutes? No, you can you can you can skip your thirty minutes today. <laughs> You've earned it. I also had to encourage my friend to do the flu shot. You did? Yeah, because she her parents signed her up, and I had to. 
And you got her to do it? No, I had to tell her not to be scared because she would get scared. And did she do it? Yeah. All right, good job. All right, so anyway, this is a... Uh, this case right here is a 4x8 um, military style. Now, you know, I talk to you guys a lot about having bad sewing days, right? I say, you know, like, like it's always possible we could have a bad sewing day. Well, here's a good example of having had a bad sewing day, and I'm going to show you. Okay? So keep in mind, you know, we're not perfect. We're not always going to get everything right. All right. Even even though we've got a lot of eyeballs on stuff and everything, sometimes things just happen, and you know there's no real good explanation for it. So this case here, this case here was the exact same case as this one, and I had it all. I did a video on it a couple of, oh, two weeks ago or so, and we sent it out. And then the guy gets it and he opens it up and he's like, dude, what's up with the pocket? The pocket is like halfway off, right? So this is the pot. This is where we took the pocket off of it. Okay. So you guys can see that now I'm going to put something over that and I'm going to make it look nice and we'll sell it because it's still a great case. But the point of it is, is that I had this in my hand. I even picked it up by the pocket in the video. And I didn't even notice that that it was it was uh, that half the thread was missing, you know. So apparently, what had happened, I guess, is that uh, that down in through here, the um, the machine wasn't actually sewing or something like that, and then it only sewed, you know, like like half of the pocket on, and nobody noticed it the whole time. I went back and I looked at the video and I saw Jesus. I did grab it, and you can see the pocket clearly move. And I was like, how did I not notice that? So. As much as we, you know, try 99% of the time we get it right, we do it right. Sometimes we don't. And when we don't, we own up to it and we just we just redo it, you know, cuz that that's all you can do. That's what you're supposed to do and that's what we do. We don't give you any shit, we don't give you any hassle over it. So this is the new one. And as we can see, we're going to inspect this really well and everything is sewn on correctly the way it's supposed to be. But this is a 4x8, and we have a Velcro patch on here, so he can put his whatever he wants on there. Here. As a matter of fact, last time I even showed people, I took this and I put it on there to show them how that looks and how it works. Um, you got Molly webbing here, so you can put whatever other, other uh, stuff that's set up for, for the military specifications there. And this one has a 4 butts H-shaft interior. And um, yeah, sorry about the delay on it, but uh, now you're going to get the case you want, made correctly, and no problem. So yeah, sometimes we, <laughs> I'm trying not to cuss, trying not to cuss. Sometimes we screw up, and um, when we do, we don't give you any shit, we just make it right. That's what, that's what lifetime warranty is all about. That's what satisfaction guaranteed is all about. Okay? All right. Now, this one here, this is for uh, Shane McMinn. Uh, Shane is, a, um, Shane is a, a professional player here in Oklahoma, a very good player. Um, and this was the case that he wanted. So, you know, we told him, we said, just design it. Whatever you want, we'll do it. So... He designed it here. This is Doomsday. That's the Doomsday character right there. And look at the stitching on there. Look at how nice that is. So, he's very happy with that. Black, purple, purple zipper or um, purple stitching on here. And let's see what color interior we have on here. Red. Awesome. Look at that. It's like blood. <laughs> blood red eyes or something, I don't know. But there you go. Now this one here is navy blue and gray and green. So it's gray with, uh, with green piping on here, green zipper pulls. And then we have a taller lid which indicates either a ball holder or extra storage. Right there, so 
with the navy blue interior, very cool. Three butt, six shafts. All right, moving on here, I've got, um, I've got a four by eight Asian Zing style. This is a beautiful red silk brocade on here. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. You see it shimmer. It's got a little bit of a metallic shimmer to it. Backpack straps. Isn't that gorgeous? And then this one here is got a red interior. Has a red interior. Four butts, eight shafts. You know why the knockoff people don't make a big deal about their interior? Because they know that if when I tear it apart, they know what I'm going to find. All right. So this one here is, uh, let's see, PWWA. Not sure what that is, but I love the logo. Look at that. How cool is that? And we got a little extra cool, kind of cool design going on in the corners here. It says Amy and the JB Cases logo on top with backpack straps. This is a two butt, three shaft case, black and pink with a pink interior. There you go. All right, this one here, I've got a uh, three by six. No, this is a two by, two by five slash three by four. And it says B on here, big B. And then USMC right there, black and yellow. Very cool. Yellow stitching. And let's see what color interior we have on this one. We have a yellow interior. There you go. Now, for those of you who get the lighter color interiors like this, I really do recommend that uh, that you, when you're putting your cues away, you know, make sure the tip goes all the way in the hole so you're not kind of digging around and then you'll keep your cue, you'll keep the interior looking pretty nice for a long time. You can also vacuum it, by the way. You know, look on our, look on our website and you'll see some videos on there about how to take care of your case. Okay, this one here is brown. This one is a brown three by six with uh, tweed pockets. Look at these pockets. Isn't that cool? And then look, we got a real elegant, small elegant in set of initials on there. Monogrammed with RMW. Single strap. Also with the tweed. Larger lid. Let's see if this lid has a ball holder or an extra compartment. And it does have a ball holder in the lid. And you'll notice these cases that we do with a single strap. We put a great big leather retainer right there and a great big ring. So if the customer ever decides they want to put an extra strap, it becomes very easy to put an extra strap on there. So now we recommend when you do backpacks that you have a little bit of extra separation at the top. It's ergonomically a little bit better. But when you do it our way with the big D ring too and you put an extra strap on there, the difference is really kind of negligible. Um, I would say it's a little bit better to have it separated that way. It's ergonomically a little bit better, but I don't think that you're going to notice much difference. Um, all right. This one here is navy blue and maroon. And we have a really cool eagle design on here. Big American flag. And it says ogre on there. So it's navy blue with white stitching and white piping, four butts, eight shafts, with a navy blue interior. I love that interior. I love when I open it up because it's dark, but it's not too dark, and it looks really nice. I don't like the black interiors because I can't really see uh, the holes in there, but the fact is, is once you know where the holes are, they're always in the same place. They're not going anywhere. All right, this one here is black with yellow stitching, yellow zipper pulls, backpack straps, also the dynamite rugged style here with uh, taller and longer pockets, and three butts, six shafts. Alrighty, so that's it for that cart. 
slide this over here. Okay, so these two right here are black and uh, navy blue and gray with white piping. This is a three by six. There you go, three butt six shafts. And then this one is black and red. Black with red pocket sides, red accents on here, red, red zipper pulls, red stitching, and a blue interior. There you go, got a nice royal blue interior there. Okay. I'll get to the leathers in just a moment here. Let's pull this one over. All right, so my wife, you know, for a long, long time, for, for ever since I've known her, she chose the name Karen. A lot of Chinese people, they kind of choose an English name. She chose the name Karen. In recent years, you know, she's seen the name Karen go, uh, go viral, right? And uh, so she has the luxury of being able to just change her name back to her original name, which is Lulu. Um, so now she goes by Lulu. <laughs> I told her not to worry about it. You know, I told her, I said, listen, if you introduce yourself as Karen, people just automatically straighten up, right? They know. But anyway, I'm just joking. Anyway, so, uh, so now we've got another one trending, right? This whole, this whole let's go Brandon thing, right? So, uh, so Brandon... Uh, thank you for buying a JB case. I'm sure that you got to fade it now with your name. Uh, but take heart. Try having a name that means go take a shit. You know, I'm going to the John, right? <laughs> so anyway, this one has uh, JB cases on here. Really cool. It's white. With uh, really popping green piping on here. Got backpack straps. And a green interior. There you go. How cool is that? All righty. All right, now this one here is all black with uh, gray stitching and gray zipper pulls. See that? So the contrasts are, you know, you can be popping like this one with white and, and green, or you can be black and just, just gray on here. Whatever your interests are, whatever your color palette is, we're happy to make you a case to fit it. That's why we are a custom case maker. And we cater to all budgets. So, whatever it is that you want, we will try to do it. Okay, now this one here is real cool. This is, this is printed. So we printed this design on here, this kind of paint splatter design. So that is UV printed on the pockets. That's a capability that we have and it looks pretty cool. See how we did that? Look at even the top piece right there, check it out. Didn't that kick ass? And this is a 4 by 8 This is black and uh, Turquoise blue with uh, green piping on here. And then that really kick-ass paint splatter design. Came out looking pretty cool, huh? Alright, the next one I have here, this one is a butterfly. This one is a really cool hybrid butterfly. This is, this is our rugged material accented with leather. See that? We call that our signature line. And then we have a really cool basket weave floral design going on the pockets here. Isn't that neat? And got red stitching on here. And then let's see what size case this is. We got red zipper pulls. This golden red looks awesome. So we have a 4x8. Four butts and eight shafts case here. It's two butts and four shafts on each side of this. 
plus the butterfly has extra room inside so uh, so you can really fill it up with towels or whatever you want to put in there very cool also this one I should let you guys know this one has brass see the metal on here all the metal parts are brass on there so it looks pretty cool too and then neat Alright, so here I have a pair of uh, black and yellow. This is uh, yellow, black with yellow piping, yellow sides on here. And it says, uh, I think, Big C or Big T or something on there. And then they got a yellow jacket on here. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Backpack straps, whole deal. And a yellow 3x4, 2x5 interior. Okay, moving on here, I've got another black and yellow right here. This one's got a Celtic design done by our friend DJ over in the Netherlands. This is a 4x8 with one strap. And it says on top, we got some initials going on on top there. I'm not even going to try. It's SJB, I think. Or SJD. D. I can't ever read the gothic letters. And there you go, black interior, looks pretty cool. Thank you very much, Scott. All right, moving on here. Turn the thing around. All right, here I've got a four by eight, dynamite rugged style with another big 20 inch pocket on here for Jake. And Jake's got a pretty cool eight ball, fire eight ball design going on there. And one strap, red zipper pulls, red stitching, and a red 4x8 interior. There you go. All right, next one I have here is, this has got kind of a American theme on it. It's black and red. Got JB cases on there, got an American flag. And this one is for Reese with backpack straps red zipper pulls, and a blue 3x4, 2x5 interior. Very cool. All right, the next one I have here is a gray and white and navy blue. This one is for triangle constructing, contracting, triangle contracting. Got a really cool logo on there. Now, one thing I want to say about logos like this, once in a while, once in a while, we really kind of, uh, we, we go out of our way, not once in a while, but we always go out of our way to try to do people's logos as sharp and as nice as we can. Uh, we take a little bit of extra time to really make sure the stitches are, are well lined up and look good. Um, and, I mean, you can even see the detail in the chimney in here when I look closely on there. See if you guys can, can see that. It's kind, of, it's kind of getting a little washed out in the light. Let me see if I can turn this off and maybe you can see it. See the chimney design in there? So, what's really cool about this, also this is a 3x6 with a blue interior and a ball holder in the lid. But once in a while, you know, uh, we'll do the logo so well that it'll actually be better than somebody has for their company already and upon request we'll always give them the file that we did um, and then they can take it and put it on their shirts and jackets and things like that and have a better logo than they had before a lot of people they don't know they don't know the difference between good embroidery and so-so embroidery you know anyway alright this one is another uh, 2x5 3x4 Right here, this one is black and uh, royal blue. It says Tristan Lee on here. And they got a really cool crossed cues design with an 8 and 9 on there. Looks pretty cool. An American flag. And this one also has a taller lid. So on here, oh, it says JB Cases on the back too. Thanks a lot, man. We appreciate that. Thank you. Um, 
We don't charge for the logo, by the way. So uh, thank you for putting that on there. We always appreciate it. It's on there. Now this one is, uh, this is a two by four. So this customer elected to have us make the interior custom. Instead of doing our normal profile, which is three butts and four shafts, uh, this customer decided to get two butts and four shafts. And that's what we did. So basically it just means he's got a little extra padding around each of the uh, parts. So very cool. And a ball holder in the lid. So thank you very much, Tristan. We appreciate that. Okay, this one here is uh, black with orange stitching and uh, teal. Black and teal here. This is for Sean Bradford. Pretty cool. Put your name on the side like that. Looks awesome. And we got a pretty cool nine ball going there too. Now this particular nine ball set right there, I've always loved that since I first saw it on Winning Garb. I don't know if you guys remember Winning Garb from the 90s. A lot of you probably don't. But uh, Winning Garb was uh, done by George and Lydia Michaels. And um, they had just amazing pool clothes. They, they'd go out and they'd buy really good clothes. And then they'd have them embroidered. And one of the embroiderers, one of the uh, designs that you saw a lot was this nine ball like this. And uh, at one time I had a lot of their clothes, you know. And they had some really good stuff. So... Pretty cool. All right, so next one. This is a two by five slash three by four. Black and yellow with uh, looks like a Steelers logo on there. And this one's got an extra, no, not this one. I, think, I don't know which one I was showing you, but one of them had an extra D ring. And it says on top here, it says AP in the interior. Is uh, I'm gonna close this because it's got a phone number on there, so I don't want you guys to see that part of it. But uh, this one has a person's phone number laser engraved into the lid, so that's pretty cool. Good little security measure in case you uh, forget your case. All righty, so this one here is a two by three with uh, dynamite rugged pockets on there, big pockets, uh, blue and orange with, uh, it says Reyes across the top, orange uh, zipper pulls with a blue interior, two butts and three shafts. All right, the next one is black and teal, black with teal stitching, teal pocket sides, backpack straps. This one is a two by five, three by four, Two by five or three by four. There you go. All right, the last one on this cart is a uh, black weave. What is this called? Uh, dude, my mind is going blank here. This is like a um, um, tweed hybrid. Tweed hybrid is what we would call this. Check out the check out the tweed on the body. Isn't that cool? Look at that texture. And then we have a really cool dragon design right here with the uh, with the silk brocade, Asian zing style. Isn't that pretty? So elegant. And this has a burgundy interior. I think everything. Matches up really nicely there. And black zipper pulls. Okay, did I get everything? Oh. I don't think I showed this one, did I? Maybe I showed it and didn't show the, uh, the name on it, but it says Lechuga. Look how nice and big that is, look. Now look at the texture. See, I want you to see something. Look at the texture on the embroidery. I don't know how much of that you guys can really see. But this is just one of the things that we do. Like some, sometimes we, we do different stitch patterns um, to make the embroidery really pop and really look good, you know? So anyway, that one's uh, two butts, five shafts, and three butts and four shafts.
Okay, I think I showed it to you, but I didn't highlight the uh, I didn't highlight the name earlier. All right, so a couple other cases I have to show you right now. This is this one right here is all leather, um, three by six. Take a look at it. Look at the texture on this gator. This is a gator print, by the way. It's not not a real gator, uh, but really cool. Look at that. Look at the pockets. And this is uh, made of a combination of styles. Okay, so this is oil tan leather here, really nice with this gator print right here. Brass fittings on here. Everything's beautiful and gorgeous. Taller pockets. Look how tall these pockets are. You could fit a ton of stuff in there. And then um, here we have a zipper lid, okay, with a red 3x6 interior. And there you go. Isn't that cool? So we kind of mixed and matched several different styles on there, but we have the lacing. You got four panels with the lacing on here. Just a really gorgeous case. Came out really nice. Jump pocket here. This is a well padded jump pocket, by the way. Middle zipper. A lot of people like the middle zipper because you can open it up and kind of directly see down inside. I prefer to have it flat on here so that, you know, the zipper comes around and you can open it like a book. Uh, but some people like it that way, and if they request it, we make it. So there you go. Pretty nice, huh? Alright, now I have this one. This is a Mason style leather case right here. Now I, you gotta look at this. I mean I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take this off so you guys can see the the I'll put this back on in a second, but I just want you to see the flow on this case. So you can see the design. Got a little corner design going on there. Symmetry there and then now watch this see how that comes around the top I'm going to just go this way so you can see how it looks Watch this Look at that look how it flows around the strap Isn't that cool? Let's do that from the other side Ready? Watch this Look how it flows And it comes all the way around, comes around the latch. We got a magnetic latch on here. Look at this interior. Three butts, six shafts, gorgeous interior. We just redid the interior on these too, so uh, I think that the, the new and improved interior is so much better. This one here, it says uh, GJA on the side. How cool. Right? Look how neat that is. This is a semi-hard case, um, so it's not a, it's not crush-proof. You know, none of our cases are really crush-proof. But instead of having plastic all around your cues, uh, we've got woven fiberboard, antimicrobial, by the way. Same thing as in your tennis shoes, and um, but just really cool. Just a really nice leather case. So there you go. All right. Um, yeah, that'll do it for today. So, thank you guys again very much. We appreciate it. Uh, I know I bring this to you every week, and, and uh, every week we just do more and more custom cases. But, um, you know, that's the pleasure that we have in doing this. Is It's a lot of work, a lot of uh, sometimes frustration to get the design right uh, with folks. You know, we're doing our best there. But when the case finally is done... Almost universally, everyone is happy with it. Customers are always saying, hey, it's, uh, it was a little bit frustrating with the weight, you know, don't like to wait for stuff. But almost always we hear from our customers was absolutely worth the wait. And you don't have to believe me, I'm biased, you know. Um, just ask around and 99% of the stories you're going to hear are... Uh, JB cases are awesome. Uh, the JB people at JB cases are awesome. 
once in a while, 1% of the stories you might hear, you know, someone's going to say that John Barton is an asshole. Uh, his political views suck. Um, you know, once in a while you hear somebody complain about, oh, customer service wasn't great or something like that. And out of those 1% stories, then 1% of 1% actually has merit. And the rest of them, when you, when you dig into it, uh, you realize, you know, that you're only being told part of the story. So always remember that, that if you have any kind of a problem with us, you can come directly to us, right? And if you're not satisfied with your answer, with our answer, then take it to the public and let it become, a, let it become part of the public debate, right? And we'll present our side, you present your side, the public can decide. But 99% of the cases that we make go off without any problem, um, they get ordered, they get confirmed, they get, uh, we show you every step of the way. And so there's no surprises. And at the end of it, you end up with a gorgeous case. So I will say to you guys, you know, especially as we're coming up to Christmas and cases that you, you've put in orders, you've put in earlier for Christmas orders, please, please, please take the time to really look at what we send you. Because if you say it's okay and we got a color wrong or we did something, you own that case afterward, all right? So please make sure, right? So that when you get that case before Christmas and you open it up, it's everything you wanted it to be, okay? So that's it. Everyone have a great week and um, thank you very much again. And remember, if you don't want to build it yourself, jbcases.com, we'll be happy to build it for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.